hey what's up guys dave here welcome to my channel where i share some tips and tricks for developers so today i want to share how you can copy files from your local host to a remote server or to production normally you will use git for such for such things but you can use uh, ssh to copy files from local host to production now you can use uh, ac copy or rsync to copy files from local host to production now i'm going to demo all this right now okay let's dive right into it all right so i'll start with the uh, ac copy to copy some files actually to copy my app from uh, local host to uh, a remote server here okay so the syntax is uh, ac copy dash r for recursive copying since we are going to be copying directories then capital p specifies the port uh, but you can remove it if you use port 22 which is default for um, ssh then uh, the directory that you want to copy and then you're going to put the uh, destination server here okay and that's that's it So SC copy is going to start recursively uh, copying files from our local host to a remote box. Okay, it's done. So I'm just going to remote into our server and just confirm that the files have been copied successfully. <coughs> All right, and indeed uh, my site has been copied. It's right there okay all right oh it appears it only copied uh, the my site subdirectory so i probably just want to do that again let me just delete this and uh, i forgot uh, what i have to do is that I have to back one step back and then uh, do the copy once again okay okay so I'm here. Uh, so my site okay so now you have the db and um, manager.py and the my site directory so this is awesome uh, I use SC copy if I really want to copy something real quick, chap chap. Um, but rsync is a much more powerful and more versatile tool that you can use to copy files and directories from uh, local host to production. So let me just uh, delete these files and uh, let's use rsync now. Okay nothing there all right so the difference between rsync and sc copy again is that rsync actually does this recursively uh, oh sorry incrementally uh so sc copy uh copies everything every other time even if nothing has changed in the files and directories whereas rsync is going to do an incremental copy so the first time it's going to copy everything but then the second time it's going to copy only the files and directories that have changed. That's really awesome. Okay, so let's just do that again using our sync PAVE. I'm just going to explain the options in a while. Okay, so um, the capital P here says that uh, it gives you a progress bar so you can see. Uh, uh, how far your coping process has gone uh, and then uh, a here is for archive which allows for copying files recursively and preserves symbolic links file permissions user ownerships and timestamps then the v is for verb verbosity which gives you a bit of more detailed information onto the terminal and then the e specifies um allows you to choose an alternative remote shell program okay so i use it to specify ssh uh, dash p for port 
and 22. Now, if uh, your port is 22, this is unnecessary. You can eliminate that portion uh, altogether. But uh, if your port is different, then it comes in really handy. All right, so let's run the, uh, the command and watch as our files are copied to uh, the remote box. Okay, right, uh, there you go. So everything has been copied once again on my side. Okay, so I'm just going to show you that if uh, we change something or we add, let's actually add just a, a file, maybe test file here to our directory and then run our sync again. Uh, you notice that it's just going to uh, copy only that file that has been added. So this is what we mean by incremental copying. And this saves you a lot of time and bandwidth, of course, and it's a lot more faster. So we go to our remote host here. We should be able to see that new file that has been added. So RSync is absolutely powerful. It's absolutely versatile. Uh, you can even uh, do ex uh, you can even exclude certain folders while copying using the dash exclude option, and you can also do selective copying with uh, the dash include from option. You can even do a dry run, dry run, which means that you can just see how the command runs without it doing anything. And you can also use it to delete large number of files using the delete option. So basically just sync an empty directory to a directory with a lot of files and it's much faster than using uh, RM. Okay, so uh, that's it. Um, I know that you can, Git is the best way of, uh, you know, doing version control and also copying files from your remote host to i mean from local host to remote host uh, but if you really want to copy something real fast without uh, git or if you have a huge volume of data that you want to copy uh, from one box to another or if you actually want to do backups routine backups you can just set up a cron job using rsync and it's just going to do incremental uh copies of your files and directories all right um this has been how to use se copy and rsync and how they differ in copying files and directories from your local host to uh to a remote box all right um please do subscribe and also click on the uh, the bell icon to get notified of when I push some new videos in the future that are really about some tips and tricks for developers. Cool. See you guys in the next one.